Lighting sucks, but you know, that's fine too. So give me like a brief rundown of what's happening. Great. What do you expect? Hey, um, Ed Castaneda, Subliminal Ed Films here. We are getting ready to shoot Fire and Oak. Uh, this has been in pre-production for a few months here. Um, Susanna Stungle is our writer, George Laws is our director, and uh, Nikki Pierce built our set. We're on stage two, Harbor Island Studios, and we're about ready for first shot. So excited, hopped up on coffee, and this is going to be fantastic. And our last day, we're going to have fire. Fire. And who doesn't like fire? Who doesn't like fire? Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Look at the, the camera. Uh, just look at the camera. Okay. Sorry. Right. Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. Who are you today? Hello. My name is Shauna Potter. I'm an intimacy coordinator on the set of Fire and Oak, and I'm very excited to be here. So, what kind of challenges do you see happening today? I, you know what? We had two days of rehearsal, uh, which is kind of a luxury. And I think we worked out a lot of the specifics uh, during the rehearsal, so I kind of don't foresee any major <laughs> problems happening today, at least from my perspective, from an intimacy perspective. So I'm actually excited to just continue to um, like tweak and like add little suggestions once I see on the monitor what things look like, but the actors have the basics down already, and so I feel pretty good. Cool. And we will we, we shall recap on, on Sunday. We'll see. All we'll right. see if I was right. Yeah, <laughs> my <you>. prediction. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Both of which were disasters, but like very good learning disasters. Yeah, yeah. Taught me a lot about uh, what not to be doing all on your own. Okay. And uh, where to make sure I had things covered. What, what did you do? On right. That? Were you directing? Oh, I was kind of. Uh, she, she was director. She, she was kind of like. Um, one woman banning it a little bit. She was producer and director and, and star in a lot of them. Okay. And uh, so I, I watched her just tear herself apart, <laughs> putting these things together. Yeah. And A, I was just insanely impressed that this you know, like young woman who's like 10 years younger than me is getting all this shit done like crazy. And two, just took notes as well. Uh, and at some point, if I get this stuff on track, I want to. I want to reach out to her and, and give her something with yeah. more support okay. to yeah. do everything. She was an inspiration. Okay. What did you do for her? Scripts. Uh, okay. I, I was basically there as moral support and then wherever she could fit me. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. My actual name in the credits is like way, way down. <laughs> and it's just like jack of all trades. Pretty much. Gotcha. Yeah. That's usually all those. On track. Oh, on a, a doing a drag show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. We could maybe we lighten you up a little bit. Should ask. Yeah, let me drive when you back. Arrives. Okay. And she is still set up over there, right? I think so. Okay. Are you recording cool. right now? No. Oh. <laughs> um, yes. Let's head so, back together. Okay. Uh, I think. Do you want to put a mic on me first? Wherever. Oh. Sorry. Right? Just like the wolf. Hell yeah, dude. just like the wolf. <laughs> oh, Wall Street? No, no, no. Uh, Pulp Fiction, man. I drive real fucking fast. Drive real fucking fast, alright? Dude, Super Mario's in here, a little, little go kart racing would be so fun. It's a great place for go kart racing. Okay. Pew, 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 pew. Ah, uh, we're faster than you. We're drive by, dude. Dude, I'll uh, drop it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that would be oh, so Speed bump. Fine. Give me your, oh, look, 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 look this way. Give me your point. What's happening, man? We're, we're b carting. <laughs> no, Cart life. Cart life. Gang, gang, dude. Yeah, yeah. You got stuck in my head now. All right. I don't know if I know that. Sounds a little too thoughtful. Yeah, yeah. I believe it's ball fun. Driving. Thank you very much. Oh, it is taco time. It's like no matter where you go, there it is, right? Tacos? Tacos, yes, tacos. Oh.
Oh, uh, yeah, I'm just thinking about where to put uh, a handbag. Uh, which may not be the most um, revelatory or inspiring factor. It's a start. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. Yeah, like water does not help. It gives you no, bread it's helps. All about that milk. You need a milk. Milk. I think, I think, I think, <laughs> I think so too. But I think you need a lassi. Oh, a mango lassi? Yeah, oh, those yeah, are so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love mango lassi. Uh, yeah. I just don't have many of those on hand. Can you get a lassi in the store? Yeah, Do they sell lassi? No, probably not. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, you can actually buy them from, um, you know, in the U District, there's a Indian place called Cedars? Mom. And then this. Random these, I do video editing and social media managing for a small little production company, yeah. just yeah. also good stuff. <laughs> How about you? What do you do, man? I eat tacos. You eat tacos? Just endlessly. <laughs> <laughs>
Nikki, we need charcuterie board off. We need wine glasses back up to. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, yeah. And then a thumb above the label to the wine bottle. doing lighting in a cramped yeah, apartment yeah. with okay. tungsten lights. Yeah. And me and the whole lighting. Oh. Okay. Do we want to fill the bottle a little bit more? Um, I filled it as much as I have okay. for right now. Okay. Um, it's only about uh, fingers yeah. width off. Fingers. Um, uh, label towards us. Oh yeah, no, I'll take a stand, stand, I guess, yeah. I think a baby C stand would be... It's just temporary, but I'm tired of holding it. <laughs> I'll, I'll hold it with you, buddy. Cool. So, uh, oh, I didn't mean to give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Not a baby, but... Oh, oh okay. Yeah.
like it. It's just like, you know, Valley Drive is so nice. Like, you know, whatever. Yeah, like, like, hell, I guess so. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. But, but I just want to be like. Yeah. yeah. So it's really. Our sound. I was like, yeah, yeah, damn. You can do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. tricky. It's really Did fun. you guys hear that um, when Tina Fey's biography came out? There's a story in it. Did you hear that? So there's a story. Uh, and then we're gonna just gonna move from there, and we're basically gonna call cut as soon as you're out of shot. Okay. Um, are these supposed to be on the table at the end in world? Um, yes, those are on the table. Yeah. What'd y'all say? Scoot you to the right a little bit, to your right. Yeah. Fight on set. Thumb rolling. All right. Good? Yep. Hey, folks. Uh, Ed Castaneda, Subliminal Ed from Subliminal Ed Films. We are on set here at Harbor Island Studios filming Fire at Oak, day two. Um, what happened yesterday? We got all of our, not all, we got a lot of our coverage shots. Um, Nikki Pierce is our set designer, our art director. It's incredible the set that she has created for us here. Um, Steve Carrillo, Carrillo he created all of our previs boards. We are operating just uh, on target um, today. Today involves a lot of very heated scenes with our actors. So part of Fire Oak, part of the story is this push, push and pull between this relationship that's just not, uh, it's not there. So um, yeah, yeah, that's that's that that's what we're filming today. I'm getting called right now, and we will talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Sorry, man, I got distracted. Uh, no worries. No worries. <laughs> that's what we're doing today. <laughs> we're, we're making a movie. We're making a movie. We're we're, we're yes. doing we're doing some cool stuff today, uh, intimacy wise. We're mm -hmm. doing a like power struggle kind of scene. And you get to you get to fuck uh, this guy up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I get to get a little yeah. uh, a little spicy. Yeah. And uh, in a retaliation towards this fellow, and it's well deserved, and I'm excited to do it. No regrets. No <laughs> regrets. <laughs> any 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 useful points that could help her today? Oh. Oh yeah, we've definitely yeah, covered obvious, a lot. We've I've obviously had a lot of conversations with the actors. Um, we make sure everything is cool with everyone. That no one's doing anything that they're not okay with. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we've decided maybe there's a little bit room for improv, but we really actually know the beats we want to hit. Yeah. Um, so we can execute that, and there's no surprises once we actually get rolling. And there are a lot of uh, tools to use if things feel uncomfortable or not safe. We can just pull the ripcord and take yeah. a break, and that feels really good and comfortable for me. So yeah, yeah I appreciate good. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, as they say, let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. <laughs> She'd know better than me. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> All right, we are ready for block. <laughs> My name's Sunshine. I'm the script supervisor here on the set of Fire and Oak. Uh, we had a great shoot yesterday, and I know we're a couple pages behind, but we're, you know, on a roll today. Hopefully, soon on a roll. Uh, gonna get on the roll. We're on time, right? <laughs> maybe. Oh, maybe. <laughs> okay. I think we're a little behind, honestly, based on the schedule. But you know, uh, we'll get there. You know, it's film set. It's just how it goes, right? So. Yeah. All right. Are you comfortable with that? 
Are you? I, I'm good. Are you good? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Cool, thank you. How was that? And you think I'm a bad person, right? Yes. No, 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 please, I, I don't. Okay. On some level, I think it's bad. The last time my body was broken, my stepfather raped me. He nicknamed me Easy Breezy. I was 12. That's unbelievably horrible. Oh, good. Yeah, thank you. Um, John, are you able to put some marks for yourself here? Yep. This triangle is full. Yep, that's full right now. I can even bring it closer here. Maybe I can even just walk it here and be like, that's horrible. Let's do uh, one run through with, with what uh, Stephen has here where you kind of have it on this mark. And then I'm going to take a follow through with it. It's, 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 it's more as you said. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's six. There's six. Is yeah. 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 Stephen, were you trying to get her very here? No, she, she can leave. Okay. She can once she steps out, she can leave. So don't she just like walk to a chair? And leave? Right. Okay. It's just for his island. Yeah. Okay. Is that okay? Me pausing there. Uh, yeah. Just be aware that camera's going to shift a little bit when you leave. So take an extra step. Yeah. Just to give a little room. Okay. Okay. Do you want to try it like a dry run with yeah. your camera? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Do you want focus? Yeah, I'll take it. I guess. Okay. Uh, yeah. We're ready to do a dry run, yeah. The camera's gonna actually be on this one. Do I have control, Patrick? Sure, yeah. control. So, um, <laughs> so you're gonna write them all for me? Right? No, <laughs> no. She was she was helping out with. Uh, Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Just to give you a quick primer here. Yeah. Um, we're starting with the, these here. Sometimes they have multiple shots. We'll just go into letter mode at that point. So yeah, yeah, this one's really like which by 119 because there's no yeah, saving your eyes. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. How do I know if there's another shot on it? Um, you'll see stuff like this. Cool. Or, 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 there, or we'll call it. We'll call it and go like that. So you can just go into alpha yeah. later there. This one can just Start be straight. Roll. Um, that is it set. Yeah. Yeah. Are we still at the roll 806 A06 for slate? Yeah. That was written on this yep. morning. Okay, just make sure. Like, what's the other uh, one? Just to check. So you need to come to your right, Patrick. Camera right a bit. I go a bit more left. Yep. Okay, that's gonna be our start. Let's slate here. All right. Um, Sounds ready. Speed is camera. Camera speed. Correct, we just wanted to get you set up. Thank you. All right, so yeah, back to one. Okay, ready. And action. You think I'm a bad person, right? No, 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 please, I don't. Uh, yeah. uh, get it, yeah. yeah. That is, yes, that's correct. Oh, oh, you're adorable. Oh, yeah. yes. You're artistic. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> All the ones I took of you day one or yeah. worse or whatever yeah. are awful. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Like, I'm just okay. like, oh. Well, Good thing she's here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're all blurry. I have you doing this. I'm like, oh, that's, that's why Ed and I are producers and yeah. directors yes, and, and not DPs. Yeah. Yeah. We all have our skills. We do. <laughs> Pose yourself like a doll, stuff, <laughs> which is like okay. But how am I? How, how about what I'm saying? Is any yes. of that working? Yes, yes. That's funny because for me, 
a lot of times being mechanical is the thing that helps people because mm. it's so awkward that they're like, gotcha, just yeah. tell me where to put things so I know what I'm doing, you know, because it's like a yeah, little strange. You're, you're, you're in a specific area. Yeah, That's yeah. Useful. But I still have to be like, but, but also sometimes I'm just like, make it safe, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> But anyway, so, yeah. so okay, so what? So so what's going on here with the rest of this? Especially if the bar is there, yeah, we can do it with the bar and then one without, and it'll just be two clean uh, sets of wide for yeah. the whole sequence. Yeah, and I think that like if the like I think the bar is going out right now. Yes. So even if we don't get it with the bar in, like I know it's nice and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, we can sheet a fucking wine glass in there without bringing the bar back in, mm -hmm. without without having to redo everything. Right? I think that so there may not be a wine glass. Got to, uh, well then, well then yeah. I, I'm, I'm almost in favor of saying fuck it. Like, let's leave it without there. If you're cool without having. All right. All right. Whenever you are ready. Awesome. Well, I have to say, day one of shooting was so much fun. And I, I, I think that, um, I told Ed about this yesterday, but I think that it, what made it so great is that everything was so smooth. Everyone came in here prepared, knowing what they want to do. Uh, but above, the, above that, um, everyone just came in with the right attitude, like positive, like encouraging, patient. It really does feel like an awesome team. So just to start that from day one, the way we did is awesome. I mean, there's so many, so many, so many moving parts, but you know, at the end of the day, we got a lot of work done, and I'm just excited for day two and three coming up. Are you ready for the fire? Oh, yeah, I'm stoked for the fire. I'm stoked. That's going to be incredible, and I, I, I'm going to be here for all of that. I'm going to try to check it all out. Can't wait. All right, man, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> so. I'm sorry. I was like, just had to try. We're so clean, and it would be a shame if someone... I politely request you keep your boots off my floor. John is a menace, dude. <laughs> well, was that good footage? Yeah, it was. <laughs> it's a good start to the day. Seize the fucking day, you guys. I'm excited. Cut to another fucking DM. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's obviously how I woke up. I just, after yesterday, I woke up this morning being like, let's get to set. Like, I was just stoked. Yeah. Yeah, I really kind of bounced off bed. And just, just to start kind of getting you, you folks prepped for this next bit, yeah. um, we're, we're going to try to get a, a whole big sequence uh, done in this one setup. Um, and it's all from, um, from Goes Great With Wine, uh, and it's that whole back and forth all the way uh, down to the bed argument. Okay. So, yeah, it, it, it's going to be... Um, Helen, I never thought this would be... Yeah, she, she moves in uh, with the Goes Great With Wine, you kind of do the... Uh, Helen, I never thought this yeah. would be... Yeah. what you do, the look how you look in it. Sullivan, yeah, and you you might do some of this argument standing with him, uh, and if you move out of frame just to go sit down and like do the God I miss smoking stuff. Uh, oh, don't sit till then. Um, do what feels right. Yeah. Uh, because uh, this is just to capture the whole sequence, okay. uh, and then it's it's going to go all the way into you went to college and everything. You're going to get back up, get back in frame. He's going to stop you. You're going to kneel before her and stop her. And then it's going to get into the argument in front of the bed, where you go with kind of go on either side of it. So we're yeah, we're going to do the whole damn thing. Perfect. Cool. Uh, his coverage first, or? Um, it, it, it's a wide. Oh, great. Um, Good way to do it. Exactly. Perfect. Um, Play. 
That's fucking awesome. Let's go. That's yeah, we're gonna get a lot of Just give myself a cramp with that. <laughs> 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 I moved the bottle. Oh, okay. oh fuck! Uh, I moved the bottle for a bit. Okay. Y'all feeling good though? Yeah. So good. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It feels good. All right, it's have fun. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. The first time when we legalized it some spice, and the first time there, um, Scott had a note that like you should say then decriminalize it. Like is more decriminalizing it is freedom. On which legalization is control. Oh, oh, okay. Because they're two different things. You would be pushing for decriminalization. That's. I want to. I want to leave it up to you, George. I think that the. Uh, um, I think the point is taken that the. We conferred with Uh, yesterday was a lot of finding our feet, finding our rhythm here, uh, which sounds cliche, but it really was what happened, and. Uh, yeah, a, a, a lot of kind of setting up what we're kind of knocking down today, it feels like. Um, there's uh, some things we've kind of learned about this space and seagulls. <laughs> uh, but, as, uh, yeah, but we really found our feet with our, um, our performance, lead performances. Uh, they really uh, got their characters established in the, uh, the little back and forths and some tiny little bits that we were kind of really working out the interactions. And today we're, uh, as I was telling Shauna earlier, if, if we're doing a song, this part is kind of the bridge. We're, we're kind of getting that part that uh, helps take you from the, the, the intro to the outro. It's day two, right? Yeah, uh, yeah this is day two. And, are you, are you ready for fire? Uh, tomorrow's fire. Uh, yeah, tomorrow's fire. T today is really getting into the meat, and tomorrow we're cooking it. <laughs> I feel like I'm mixing a lot of metaphors here. <laughs> you are. What was it? Did you what 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 lessons have you learned so far? Um, Besides the seagulls, plan my shots better in regards to the boards. Uh, plan them for a little more utility and simplicity for setups. That has been the main thing that we've been fighting here. Has been uh, I laid out a whole smorgasbord of shots, and now we're having to actually work through them, and I think I overdid it. <laughs> <laughs> and you are who again? I am George Washington Laws II. I am the director of this. And this is Fire and Oak, written by Susanna Stengel. So let's let's give me like a whole tagline, like who you are and what project this is, instead of just doing sections of it. Mm -hmm. George Washington Laws the second. Oh, we, oh. Okay. Let me get recomposed then. Now you're ready. George Washington Laws the second, director of Fire and Oak, written by Susanna Stengel and produced by Ed of Subliminal Ed Pictures. Ed Castaneda of Subliminal Ed Pictures. Perfect. Thank you, sir. You got it. Thanks, sir. Let's start this on the ground. Yeah, I can't find it either. <laughs> find my slate. I mean, he would have put it somewhere obvious on the camera. I would think so. Do you know where the slate is? I saw it earlier. want it like that where it's this and then her face or would you want it like this down where it's her hand and the thing in the hand? Ooh, um, her face. Her face? Okay. So and you will backwards. have to hold it the awkward okay. way. Yeah. 
Maybe you're left handed. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know why I chose. I am right handed in real life. Why did I choose for her to have everything in her left hand? You were deep in character. Tell me why. she's not you. <laughs> I suppose not. <laughs> this is how you create that disconnect to step into the character. Hand, uh, a maximum. And then we just do the slider instead of using like a built in effect. Because the. Yeah, because they just, yeah, they're, they're bad. <laughs> um, ideally, we were having, like, an actual fire bar, and I wanted to, like, especially with the close-up of the green screen, like, have a fire bar, like, right here, like, actually lighting their face, but, you know, rules. <laughs> what is a fire bar? Um, it's just, like, a metal bar that's got drills along the top, and you feed propane okay. gas through, and okay. then just light it. Actual yeah. fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, actual, actual fire. <laughs> so how'd you like this? <laughs> for real. I love it. I live it for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can cigar out like after takes and stuff like that. Yes, I have an ashtray. Okay. Um, let me grab it because it was on set. And okay. then um, I'm going to slate and I was just going to stay here and awesome. then like reach in whenever she needs to turn it off. Love it. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. My one thing is since real funky happens art wise, let me know. Because I like the backdrop. Okay. Good. We probably just need to go to the. Um, Loose, huh? But, I mean, the angle. It looks like it's just an old. Yeah. It's seen some, some shit. <laughs> it's seen some shit for sure, dude. Nothing around. We don't have the mounts, huh? More low, more lower. But I don't know if we have any uh, RE. Speed. Camera. Camera speeds. Scene one two nine. Take three. Smoking in here, and you can't stop me. You can't bet. Yeah. Maybe it'll be different this time.
deep for St. Eli. He can make a little purgatory here on earth. I signed a contract. <laughs> I should finish this project before leaving. I am contractually obligated. I am obligated doing my best. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't good, is a good, combo. Yeah. good yeah. person, good person. Good chat with. Anyway, <clears throat> enough, of, uh, enough of that. Yeah, All right, well, we gave it our best. Yeah. We, we gave it 100%, and we had the best defense today. And we I'm, have some guys. I, we've, we've, yeah, we've, I don't know. What do sports people plan. say? I don't you know. Know. No, they, they came with the defensive playbook. We came with the <laughs> offensive. We tried our best, but, you know, there's only so many minutes on the clock, right? So... <laughs> Blood, sweat, and tears. Team on me, team on three. One, two, three, team. Thank team you. Team on me. Team on the third. Yes, please. <laughs> all right, all right. Sorry. Are you already right, rolling, I'm sure? Yeah, we're rolling. Oh, yeah, we were. <laughs> okay, wonderful. We're all right, so. hi. My name is Shauna Potter. I'm an intimacy coordinator. I'm working on the short film Fire and Oak uh, right now with, and I'm with the stars <gasps> of Fire and Oak. What are your names again? I don't even remember. My name is Gina Pietramonico, <laughs> and I play Helen. <laughs> my name is Michael Munoz, and I play Eli. Ooh. That's good. I didn't know y'all's last names, actually. That's if I may be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's probably yeah. better that you didn't. It would have been anyway. fun to hear you try to pronounce both of them. Yes, <laughs> actually, yeah. I, agree. I still want to hear agree. that. Actually. Um, moving on. Uh, Great, yeah. Uh, so what I want to ask is, one, is this your first time working with an intimacy coordinator? Yes. I think so. From If I have, and I'm forgetting, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yes. And it's been fucking, oh, can we swear? Yes. It's Great. Fine. It's been fucking wonderful. Oh, yeah. Did you have any trepidation about working with, not, I mean, not even me, but just someone in this role? Oh, or me. Have with one? <laughs> I have worked with one. And um, it was, we didn't actually have, uh, like, contact. It was more just the, the character, like, I guess what I'm trying to say is we didn't, it didn't get to this far. We had to work on blocking, actual mm -hmm. lip to lip stuff. So, uh, Shauna's been absolutely transparent from the get-go. I know we had our, our, our Zoom call, and that's when I instantly felt like, okay, I, if I have any problems, any questions, whatever, I could totally ask you, and I felt that entirely through the set. So mm -hmm. I think working with you has been really cool for transparency. And then on top of that, just the closing out stuff you taught us, too, as far as mm -hmm. closing out a character, that was a part That's of all of this that I, I didn't really venture into, and it's been really helpful. So I just want to say thank you for that. Yeah. yeah. No, thank you. The, I, to be fair, this is not meant to be like a compliment session. You oh, know yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't sorry, sorry. My bad, my bad. Compliments for you. I'll Sean, take you're it. you're all right. You're I'll okay, take it. I guess. But yeah, I think a lot of actors have yet to work with an intimacy coordinator, and they might want to know what to expect right. or um, what, to, what do they need to know about themselves, even, to bring up into the conversation. Any thoughts on that? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was interesting when you, when we first had our Zoom, I was kind of like, I don't know, I don't know anything. I don't know about my body or what I want or how anything feels ever. Um, so I think I felt kind of like bad that you were asking all these beautiful pointed questions and I was like, I, I don't know if we'll see, I guess. But the whole time she's always saying like, oh, we'll check in, we'll do this. So the whole process has been um, just really smooth and great. And Good. like today we talked about, you know, we're going through the choreography, we changed it a little bit. And I was like, okay, this kind of brings up some stuff for me. So I was like, it's been both, you should bill as a therapist and a intimacy coordinator <laughs> probably, uh, because it's a little of that. But um, yeah, I don't know. I've just appreciated this whole process with you and you've yeah. made it all feel so safe and like so cozy and I trust this kid like crazy. So yeah. mm. that helps for sure. Definitely, definitely, helps. definitely helps. On this last scene in particular, Yeah. 
how did it, how did it help, and what are kind of your feelings now about it? Yeah, so I will say that it helped establishing the comfortability with what we're doing. And it helped knowing like the blocking and knowing what was okay, the green, the red, the yellows, like mm -hmm. that the helped as far as, yeah, as far as checking in, that really helped establish like where I know the limits are and then that helped my acting. So I'm not kind of too cautious or too worried about you because I, I know exactly where you're at and where, where we're comfortable mm -hmm. at, where there's, there's safety measures in place. So I think that that allowed me at least personally to act like to fully be in the scene and let go, and let go. Yeah. yeah, which yeah. is ultimately what you want, but something I was kind of worried about when I read the script, because I was like, oh, you know, I, I don't, you know, this doesn't really resonate with me too well. I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that. But once we did all these check-ins and all that stuff, it, I mean, you'll see it soon, but, <laughs> yeah. but it really, it really shows, you know, on, yeah. on, on the screen. So it's definitely helpful. Yeah. We're just doing our job. Yeah. What a crazy job. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. a funny job. Yeah. Showbiz, baby. Hey. Showbiz, baby. All right. Thanks for talking. Thanks, guys. Yeah. That was Thank awesome. You. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, guys. Woo. Get back to work. We'll okay. Get... All right. More <laughs> switches. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Yeah. The frequency, guys. So we are going to recap the past two days and what's happening today. And who, you, who are you, by the way? Uh, well, I'm George Washington Loss II. I'm the director in Rock and Roll Death Machine. And over the past few days, we've uh, gotten a lot of really good coverage, but we kind of ran into some scheduling crunch. Uh, but we've just hashed out all the shots we need left. We're calling the, the, uh, the fateful eight, eight important shots to tie this whole thing together. Uh, everyone has been absolutely phenomenal. The talent, the crew, everything as far as actual ability and uh, effort on display has been great. It's just been, it's been time. It's the usual thing. There's just not enough to, to time to do everything you want, but we've got it going. And how's that for a uh, bit of a corporate, like, you know, we're all on board kind what, of thing. What really happened? <laughs> oh, well, what, what really happened is everything caught on fire too soon, and we're sifting through the ashes. <laughs> it's a metaphoric fire. Sorry, it's just a metaphoric. Nothing, no one's hurt. But, uh, uh, yeah, Ed, subliminal out here again. Um, day three, Fire and Oak. Um, yesterday, we hit a few roadblocks, and just, you know, if I'm going to be perfectly honest, like, not that bad. I've worked on some other uh, shoots mm -hmm. that just, holy shit, like, oh, wow. But we had a couple that, you know, I'm, I'm so proud, especially of George, Steven, Nikki, uh, really rallied last night after like a 10, 12 hour day, got together and said, all right, what is the most important? And we are freaking executing today. So what we have left, we are what? Three shots done of the Fate Void? Yeah, three shots done, and, and uh, we're on the fourth, and we're pretty much, let me, let me just look up time really quick. Uh, yeah, if, if we get this thing done within like the next 15 minutes, then yep. we're ahead of schedule. Yep. And um, yeah, yeah, and Nikki was especially clutch. She sat down with us and was just like, okay, here's what you oh. actually need to get. Yeah. yeah and yeah, we yeah. got it down to this nice little easy shot list. It's kind of funny, right? Because like this whole script is so feminine led, right? Mm -hmm. Susanna, like her voice is so strong. She's not here, she couldn't be here. But the feminine people, the females that we have on set are just, I mean, so powerful. Like we could not like, uh, I'm, just, I'm just so happy that like Nikki came in with the sound rational mm -hmm. voice because us three were just kind of like, ah, we need, yeah, a, we, we need a pickup day. And she's like, nope, this is what we're going to do. And we're doing it. So. Yeah, we, we've got Nikki on our department and she's also the wife of Steven, our DP. So she's able to kind of understand everything he's going to need. Uh, Amy, our makeup artist has been just right there and ready for everything. Um, and then, of course, Sandra, our intimacy coordinator, you know, it, it Shout feels, out. yeah, absolutely. It feels like such a, a side thing to have an intimacy coordinator who's just there to kind of tell what the actor is okay to do, but 
she's been there being really helpful, making sure that all the finishing touches are on everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're on, we're on track, we're going forward. <laughs> and here's our, our talent our, swooping our, through our, by next yeah, to us. Yes. Ready for your full set, Mr. Bill? <laughs> Um, what we have left then, if we're on schedule, we're going to do green, screen, green, green screens, plates after lunch, and then we're going to shut shit on fire. Yeah, yeah, then we're going to get let our inner pyromaniacs finally come out to play. The whole reason we came here. <laughs> fire, fire, fire. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Cool, guys. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. And show. thank you, Eric. Hey, I'm here to help. Awesome. All right. Rock and roll. <laughs> Oh, okay, you want me to start? Um, whenever you're ready, man. Hey, I'm Nikki. I am the gaffer here on Oak and Fire, and I'm here to party. <laughs> yeah, what was that? What am I supposed to say? <laughs> um, what, what do you think so far? I think it, this has been an amazing set to be on. Like, uh, you know, it's not every day I get to go on to a set with that's a built set. And then on top of that, we've got the resources we need in the lighting department, which I care about, to you know do all these fire effects, create moonlight. We're using tungstens, giving that awesome skin glow. It's 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 really turning out, and I'm excited to be on the set. You know. Are you staying for the fire tonight? I think I am. I think I have to be here to you know supplement that fire with some more fire. You know, did, did, some did big you, fire. Did you did you bring something to burn symbolically? Mm. I'm, I'm excited to burn all the storyboards, apparently. <laughs> We're burning the storyboards. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to set fire to. Cool. What are you doing in your spare time? Um, I set fire to things. No, I <laughs> to get in preparation for this. No, I, uh, in my spare time, gosh, I do a lot of scuba diving. I think that's so fun. I go hiking sometime. Eh? I make short films. Imagine That's kind that. of what we do here. Imagine that. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. One more time, give me your name and what you're doing here. I am Nikki Smith, and I'm the gaffer on Oak and Fire. Outstanding. Thank you. Cool. <laughs> Too easy. Play. Hi, my name is Jeremiah Shrill. I'm the best boy electric for one hour on this set. I'm here to help out uh, Patrick, Nikki, and Steven. A whole hour. And what, what will you accomplish in a whole hour? So far, I've set up a Dana dolly. I've moved a light, um, helped us set up a camera rig. So I'm doing pretty good. For one hour, I'm fucking killing it. You guys should give me a raise. Killing it. Killing it. Steven's consulted with me on uh, <laughs> shitty, <laughs> shitty tripods made by YC Onion. Um, and that's pretty much it. Oh, well, hey, thanks for taking the time and saving the crew. Thank you. <laughs> that happens before the cigarette falls down. Right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so I would have loved to be here before even the rehearsal. I would have loved to be here even just talk about yeah. what I'm doing on the board. And if it that. makes you feel any better, we oh. barely talked about them because we were so much going on. Gotcha. So, so, so you didn't miss much. Okay, perfect. So. <laughs> but next time, I yeah. would love to be here. I would yeah. love to be on set. Do you have planning of blocking and trying to get everybody set? Yeah. Things, right? yeah. It'd be nice to have been there. Ask those questions and like, can we plan? And my band did not nice. move out here, um, and which is good because we would have killed each other. Like by the time like we were pretty dumb from Ohio, and gotcha. uh, uh, so we didn't move out here. But I fell in love with the area. I came out and visited, and I fell in love just with Pacific Northwest. So um, 20 years later, I was like, oh, I'm in tech. Might as well go out. Yeah, so, yeah. it is beautiful. Out here. Oh, I love it. I love it. Love you it. said Ohio. Ohio. So Ohio yeah. doesn't really have the mountains, right? No, Ohio, uh, Ohio is you. flat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, mean, I was 19 or 20. I drove out here in my Suzuki Samurai. I was just like, holy shit. Like, yeah. I'd never seen anything like that, you know? Which, what did you do in the band? I was a guitar. 
Yeah. 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 I, I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. If I, at one point, he did. I, 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 <laughs> I could make some noise at some. You don't point. think it's like a bike? You learn it once, you can just keep doing it. Absolutely not. So, because <laughs> what happened? So, uh, I worked with a composer a lot. That yeah. we were um, doing a horror movie, and we were like, "Oh, we should get this metal riff going on." He's like, "Go, come up with one." I'm like, "Yeah, I can do that." I broke out my guitar, and I was like, "Oh my god, I can't do it." Like, I was I so know. bad. Finger grip is not there. I mean, yeah, right. and like, I, my hand was cramping. I'm like, I'm getting oh. old. I got arthritis. I can't. I can't be metal anymore. So that can't be true though, because there's definitely metal bands with like old guys still. That's fair. Out That's there. Fair. Yeah. So. yeah. Yeah, I came up here in the 90s when they had like Pearl yeah. Jam and Soundgarden and, and all that. Yeah, yeah Nirvana. Because they were in like, some of those guys were in the same bands together. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, I guess, no offense, I'm just not that old, man. <laughs> My I life know. is not nearly as fun. It's been really boring so far. So. I'm older than I should be, probably. You're exactly. No. Uh, start on Can I Kiss You? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Ready on set? Uh, I think Lika might need a last uh, one. Last, one last question is if you want to do one uh, baby smoke hook like I'm smoking this cigarette? Uh, yeah. Yeah, go, go for it.
<laughs> it's, like, it's like right here. Okay, I mean, isn't the fire still in that corner, or are we changing that corner? So we're doing LeMay right in there. Is LeMay going over here now? Not the same spot at least? No. Yeah. Oh. Behind camera. Kind of where the meat axe is? In that corner. Yeah. 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 This, so in this that corner. corner. This corner. Oh, fine. So we got to go move all this stuff? I mean, how you can just stuff it in like this. And right in front of it? Yeah. Yeah, meat axe will go. Yeah, meat axe in there. If I recall, this is a meat cleaver, right? Either one probably. Someone was saying that Stephen said the longer one is a cleaver. There's one longer than this? No, this is the longer one. So this is the cleaver. The axe is the short one. Oh, I see. Mike. Now it's crazy time. Thank you so much. Fuck yeah. Oh my goodness. Hammer up. Hammer up. Hammer up, baby. Hammer up. Here we go. Almost there. Here we go.
rolling game. My name is Shauna Potter and I'm an intimacy coordinator and I'm on the set of Fire and Oak in Seattle, Washington. That's it? What, did, what am I supposed to say? <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to say? Um, how about just a little of uh, some common, co some things, basic knowledge some folks don't know about. About the about the work. Yes. Okay. Okay. Cool. How do you feel about that train? Yeah. Uh, this road is broken. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Some of it. Um. So. Actually, I very recently explained to my dad what an intimacy coordinator is. Um, he was not aware. Um, and you know, not a lot of people are. It's a relatively new position as far as having a title goes. So even though the work's kind of been going on a long time. Um, and uh, I basically told him that I'm there when an actor is going to be wearing less clothing than they would out in the street in the real world in their daily lives, uh, or anytime they feel vulnerable or dealing with some sort of vulnerable story that maybe they might need a little bit of extra care. Um, so that might mean a spicy, sexy scene. It might also mean they're getting out of the shower, their character, or they're in the bath, or it's, something like that. It's too noisy. And recording, so make sure we are in focus whenever you're ready. Okay. Um, hi, my name is Shauna Potter. I'm an intimacy coordinator, and I'm currently on location in Seattle for the short film Fire and Oak. Um, I've been doing this work for a few years now, but uh, my background, my training, all the things I care about, all the creative things I love uh, are really the foundation for me doing this work, which I've been doing for decades. So um, it's kind of a perfect job for me. I really love doing it and I'm so glad it's becoming like, uh, it's a more official position and that the world is starting to accept that it is necessary to help actors feel more comfortable doing um, doing things that feel risky or just would be outside the norm of their everyday lives. Uh, whatever helps tell the story, I think, is a good thing. Um, recently, recently I had to explain to my dad <laughs> what intimacy coordination is. For some reason I didn't want to say, I help if there's simulated sex. I don't know why. I was, I was like, let me explain it in a different way. And so I said, um, well, I just help if an actor is going to be dressed in less clothing than they would be in their normal daily lives. So that could be a spicy scene, but it also could be the character gets out of the shower, out of the tub, is in a swimsuit, something like that. Um, and then I also said uh, whether they're clothed or not, um, also if the subject matter is kind of a heavy topic or draining or takes a lot of, out of the actor or can be something that's hard for people to, to deal with. I might be a support there as well. Um, and so, and then he came up with a story, he read some article about some actor on that show Yellowstone that was blacklisted for not wanting to kiss someone that wasn't his wife anymore on screen. He was like, why is this necessary? I don't wanna, I don't wanna be with anyone else. Um, 
And so he actually kind of understood why there might need to be an advocate on set for the actors so they only do what they're comfortable with. And I said, yeah, there's like a million reasons why I could be useful on set. So I'm happy, happy to, to be a part of that process for an actor so that they feel like they have a safety net when they're doing something that might make them feel uncomfortable or vulnerable um, so that we can tell these really important stories. Long-winded. <laughs> That's what it was. That was long-winded. But oh well. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> Thank you very much. Here we go. Ed. Ed? Yes. Big. First one. Yes. How are you? Good. 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 Oh, you come over here, man. <laughs> You're retired, man. <laughs> I beat you. <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah, next year I'm going, so. Yeah, I beat yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate your help. I know it's been back and forth with Captain Crosser and everything like that. It's just kind of, uh, yeah. Yeah. Trying to get all, all. That's for you. Thank so. you, sir. Paperwork. Yeah. Look at that. So, um, here is what I, I'm, we're trying to figure out where to set up outside here. Okay. Here's what we have. It looks like I was describing our two plus walls is going to make the corner. Okay. This is what we're doing here. We're looking for some more flat shoot. And up in front of the building is probably our flattest that looks, but I don't know if that's there's concerns with that or anything along those lines. Or How close to the building? Talking. Um, probably just in front of the vehicles there. Right in front of my vehicle? Well, well, wait, well, 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 well after you move it, well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay, you Brett, you're going full bore right in there. <laughs> That's how you get a new car. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. You know. <laughs> you get an upgrade. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Okay, that's perfect. Good. All right, yeah. we'll do that. We'll, uh, we'll ask for you. <laughs> yeah. I hate writing that letter to the chief. Dear chief. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. All right. Okay. So, yeah, I guess we'll probably have people move and we'll start getting set up there and stuff. Yeah. What do okay. we need to do for the, like, Inspection and all that. Generally. So uh, check the fire extinguisher, make sure you got it. Good to go there. So. I just got them done, but I don't have tags on them. But I got them done at Fort Hunt, the ABC fire. So. And we do have, they have like 35 in there. In case that we can go grab them if we need to. Okay. This one's got a frame on it. You have a drag him? No, I, I have this. He water said there's something that he can grab. Grab? Yeah. yeah. We get one that's a 3840. Just set it, set yeah. it out. Just set it out. Okay. Just use this as first. And then if that does, this doesn't work, then we'll go. You want me to go grab one? Yeah. Okay. Good. Yep. Great. Well, I'm going yeah, I, nev I never use the drag cam one because it always ruins everything. Thing. Oh, yeah. This, so I said this is primary. And so. these, are, these are mostly for people. People first. Yeah. And the rest can. Okay. Um, yeah, we got. Yeah, with propane, we always our standard is always have a three eight forty, and if you want to use CO two, that's fine too. So, Just have one there. Yeah, uh, but yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah, drag Kim's corrosive. <laughs> Especially that's that's what like us with the concerts and stuff, you know. Oh yeah, around the concerts. Yeah, you just, that's that surprised me. You know, it was like one concert they put out bunch of drag cams and I'm going, you have any CO2s? Yeah, you know, it was yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah, we have these big ones. Yeah, I would use yeah. those first <laughs> yeah. if you have to use them. So yeah. that way we just can yeah. retain your equipment. Okay, so show me what
<laughs> sad, I'm sad. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Are you having fun? I'm having a blast. I've got a front row seat to watch them burn the wall that we painstakingly built in March for a set, and it's been through three other films, and now it's getting burned. Oh, well. Uh oh. It'll have character, right? Character, yes. Character, it'll add character. Scorch marks. Right, right. That's what they can be about. painted over, right? Yeah, of course. Of course. All right. <laughs> don't, don't have too much fun up there. <laughs> okay, fire away. Who are you, sir? I'm Lieutenant Keith Wyatt with the Seattle Fire Department Fire Prevention Division Special Events Unit. And we're here at Harbor Island, right? Yes, uh, at the Harbor Island Studios. What are, we, what are we about to do? Uh, we're going to do a flame effect for a film that's coming up out, I don't know when, but... <laughs> <laughs> soon, maybe, right? Soon, yes, soon, so... Did, did you bring uh, mushrooms? I mean, not mushrooms, but marshmallows by any chance? <laughs> yeah, uh, no, no, I didn't bring no, no marshmallows <laughs> for this. Right. Thank you, man. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>
First shot is just when you put, throw the cigarette on. Uh, yeah, 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 that's what we're doing. Yeah, we, we got we have four plan. One okay. with a cigarette, and we can get some smoke coming from that. Okay. The curtains, the coat rack, right. and then the flames. Uh, uh, the full flames. Full flames in front of it. Yeah. And then that's when the coat rack also goes down. I that. think the coat rack's gonna go down before. There's that. a third. The third one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to confirm with our DP, but that, that's okay. how we laid it out. Weeks yeah. ago when we were planning and stuff like that. Okay. I think, I think it's all the same, so. Good. I was, I was thinking we'll do the cigarette first, then the curtains, then the coat rack, and then the flames. Okay. I have one question. Yes. So on the edge of this bar, I'm not trying to rush. We are we are gonna do the flame bar. Sorry. After after we burn this. Um, well, let's hear. Can we confirm real quick? What's up? So we're just trying to talk order and stuff. So here's how I had it in my head. Okay. I had the cigarette first, mm -hmm. the burr, the smolder with the smoke. I had then the curtains going up, mm -hmm. and then I had the coat rack falling, and then I had the flame bars where everything. Was just in a big wide. Yeah. Okay. But uh, maybe we should do that first because you, I think what you're saying is we like the curtains on. They may go away. They might go away. Yeah. Right. We have multiple curtains. Okay. So we brought extras to get burned and burned and burned for like multiple okay. takes and okay. new sets. So. so. Okay. We should make sure Nikki has those here. They might be on set. Um, but so the flame bar will be, I think, best used after any wide. Really, we should try. Um, I can also put, put the fire bar under the curtains too. I don't know how, how the curtains are going to burn. They're probably some kind of fire retardant. Okay. So I got an accelerant and I don't have a ton of it. Okay. So we'll see how that burns. We may want to put a fire bar in there. Okay. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, accelerant will be two and three. Up, up tonight of this. So shot one, no flame bar. Two and three, I think flame bar. However close we can safely do in front of camera just to like create more. So we'll get like a clean, clean of actual fire on curtains. And then if we can get the flame bar going, same shot, just to have that option as well, I think would be good insurance. I think that like a bar, like, if we get an accelerant on it, like, okay. well, like quick there. So what, the, the, motiva the, the motivating thing that happened, um, there was uh, uh, some tequila or some, some the vodka okay. here, but something that helped on the bottom of it where it's going like, to go smaller and then arm coming out. Okay. okay. I'm going to do so we can douse it or, or add more to it. Okay. So I can, you know, if it's not burning it up for you, we can squirt more. Okay. I'm just worried about the wind going in. Perfect. I like the planes. <laughs> the planes. This is, this is just like the base, you know. Turn out the overheads again. We are not dousing yet. We're going to do the smolder first, so we're not going to do that. One more time. We are, we are not going to douse it. Okay. So when, when do we douse it? Like ever during the sensor? If we get this way, we get changed. So they give a quick safety message for Kai. Our pyrotech will give, give us that first. Thank you all so very, very much. From the bottom of my heart, this means everything. Thank you. Kai, take away. Woo!
the, the first one, we're just going to throw a lit cigarette down there. If the curtains catch on fire, I have a Hudson full of water here. We have CO2 extinguishers. If it gets bigger, we have a water hose. Someone will go over there and turn it on. But nobody panic. Nobody run around. We'll, it'll be fine. We'll have time to turn it on and put it out. Will we have a warning so we can pull camera away if that happens? Any, any time Fire, you feel like it's too big or whatever, just pull away. Okay. All right. Uh, Okay. Do, do we need to turn the water on now, or no? Okay. Copy. All do right. Need somebody open it. So if we need, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna roll camera. That's how you light a stand. You roll. Here is that good? That's like that's like perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ideally, I only see about a foot of the curtain, but okay. if all of that could just basically get full. Can I slip okay. right this bottom? It's burning it away, and it's seeing that there's no facade. I know that's... They can punch in. I can, I can put it out. Yeah, we don't want that out here. About this high. I don't see that little flame that's happening right now. Okay, so uh, right here? Yep. Yep. Okay, ready? Ready. Here, folks, we got some food here. The uh, uh, place I was ordering from closed. The second place closed. So we had dicks.
relatively speaking. So if we're, if we're not matching to that plate, if we're only using that plate, that plate's more of a reference and kind of a tool yeah. that they need to pull, like that part of the wall didn't match, so they pull that out of the template and put it here. Yeah. That's what I'm worried about not matching up, is like if they're trying to stitch things together yeah. and these two angles aren't perfectly aligned, things might look weird. But I, I mean, I feel like I could adjust that. Okay. And I saw Okay. So, <laughs> All right. you know, I mean, we can get George to sign yeah. up with you on that. Then Cal, I'll, Cal. I'll break for some dicks. Let's try some dicks. <laughs> Go ahead and set. We're about to start a big flame here, and I want to give the floor again to Kai to let us know what's up. Same, same procedure as before. <laughs> this time, we're gonna, I'm gonna squirt the bottom of this. There's a propane fire bar behind it. So I'm going to get it going and then I'm going to turn the propane on, make poof a little bit. And the fire's going to come up here. And the same thing, we, I have a Hudson here and the fire extinguisher and we have the hose. One of us will go over there and turn the hose on and put it out, but nobody panic. If you feel uncomfortable, just back away some more. Copy. That's it. All Ideally, right. we'll just roll until uh, they like either fully burn up or become unusable for us, but I'll just I'll do a bit of a long roll. Copy. Douse it some more. What we're doing is yeah. unscrewing okay. there so we can take this stuff off. Yeah, we're going to get a different angle from here and okay. get that. Um, yeah, more, more of the door. Right there. And what we're going to do, we're out of blue curtains, so we're going to cheat and move those ones down and put some of the white ones there and try okay. to block them. Probably. 
three on each side. Um, so three what? Three on each side. We have six. That's probably where we're at. Um, I'm gonna hold hold hold. We owe this, and then we owe the close-up, uh, or like closer in the door when it falls in front of her. We don't see the curtains in that one, so this this works. We just have to, you know, make this one work. Yeah, we have to make this one work. Okay, so no recharge on this. Let's see that. So, uh, what we're trying to do now is we're trying to make this touch shot, but Douse it up? Yep. We're going straight fire here. Everything we're just going to light up and set it ablaze.
Hey, do it one time. <laughs> oh, here you go. Marvelous. <laughs>